Hi, my name is Linda Sear. I'm the mother of four children, and they were all born prematurely, ranging from one month premature to three months premature. My story probably begins with my preterm birth. I was born a month early. They never really did tell my mother why. The only story I know about that is my father tells me my mother would go to the grocery store and pick up chickens and cry because I weighed less than the chickens. When you leave the maternity ward, they put you in a wheelchair. It seems to be standard procedure. There is nothing like leaving the hospital um, without a baby in your lap. And you look over and you see um, all the other mothers getting wheeled out and they're taking the baby with them. And when you have that premature baby, um, you leave the hospital without a baby. Uh, that was very hard, very, very hard. I think it would be great if they could figure out what are the things that can cause these premature births and how do we prevent them? Because I look at each of my kids and I think if I could have kept them until full term, it, it would have been better for them. I look at how they are now and yet they've, we've compensated and they're all doing great, but there were issues with each one. If there is a genetic component, if you know going in that you're predisposed to preterm birth, there, there are so many things that can be done. The eye on the prize is a healthy baby at the end. And to get there, you might have to curtail your activities. You might have to go on bed rest. You might be like me and have to lie in a hospital bed with your feet up in the air for two weeks. But it's worth it. It is incredibly worth it.